Hi, everyone, and welcome to this online introduction to logic course at College of Eastern Idaho. I'm your instructor, Zachary Fruling, and in this introductory welcome video for the course, I'm going to talk about some of the logistics for the course, some of my own expectations for you as you work to complete the material for this course, and some helpful tips and tricks and suggestions from my point of view that should help you be successful in an online logic course like this one. So without further ado, let's dive in and talk about some of the logistics for the course. The textbook for the course is a concise introduction to logic, the 13th edition by Patrick Hurley and Lori Watson. You can pick up a version of this textbook from the college's bookstore or online through Amazon. I don't really care whether you get the physical version of the book or the online version of the book. I personally prefer a physical copy of the book. I find it easier to do the exercises and materials from the, uh, from the course uh, out of the physical textbook, but that's entirely up to you. Just please make sure you pick up the 13th edition of the book so all the students in the course have the same version of the book, doing the same exercises. That'll make it easier for you to work together. It'll make it easier for me to do the grading, and that, that's very important. So please, again, the, the textbook is the, a concise introduction to logic, the 13th edition by Patrick Hurley and Lori Watson. I'll post a link to that inside the Blackboard course well before you end up seeing this video. In terms of where to find the materials for the course, inside the Blackboard course, I've created a folder in the left-hand navigation menu called Weekly Content and Assignments. And inside that folder, you'll see a separate subfolder for every week, a week one folder, a week two folder, a week three folder. That's where you can find all the required materials for the course and where you'll submit your assignments for each week. Inside that folder, you'll find a few things. You'll find the weekly textbook reading for that week. You'll find a weekly video lecture that I'll be recording and sharing to the course. Um, I'm planning to record those week by week by week. Uh, I should have those posted to the Blackboard course on or before the Monday uh, of each week. So if you log in there by Monday afternoon and you don't see a video, something's wrong. I'm going to try my best to get those videos recorded and posted by Monday of each week. You'll also find some PowerPoint slides provided by the publishing company for each textbook chapter. Those can be helpful for a quick overview of the textbook material. And you'll also find the weekly homework assignments, the exercises you'll need to do from the textbook, and where to submit those assignments inside Blackboard. So definitely let me know if you have any trouble finding any of these, uh, any of these folders, where to find the content for the course, where to find the assignments for the course. It should be self-explanatory if you can find the folder titled Weekly Content and Assignments. If you can't find that, let me know. If you have any trouble, let me know. If anything doesn't look like you think it should look, just, just let me know. Moving on, I wanna talk about the structure for the course. Your grade for the course is based on 15 weekly homework assignments, week one through week 15, and I'll talk about the last week of the course shortly. Each of those assignments is going to be worth 100 points each. There are no high stakes exams in this course. I hope that makes you happy as a student. If you can complete and keep up with all the weekly homework assignments for the course, in my mind, you've learned everything you need to learn in this course and you've satisfied the requirements and you've demonstrated to me that you've mastered the material and you're able to uh, do all the things I expect you to do by the end of the logic course. There will also be a, frankly, very difficult optional extra credit assignment during the last week of the course, but please, please, please do not rely on this extra credit assignment for your grade. I will also give you the opportunity to make up missing assignments or improve your score on previous assignments, but the most important thing you can do is keep up with the material and the weekly assignments first and foremost. If you don't do that, you will get behind in the course and not be successful. I, I can't emphasize this enough. A logic course is highly cumulative, and if you don't keep up with the material, it will be very, very difficult to get caught up. Okay, let's move on to talk about how to submit your assignments for the course. This is very important. In order to keep things organized, I want you to submit all of your exercises due on any given week in a single file. That could be a Word document, it could be a Google Docs document, it could be a bunch of uh, photographs of your, of your uh, on-paper assignments that you weave together inside a PDF file, but I want all of your homework assignments submitted in a single file in Blackboard. That will keep me from having to uh, go hunting and pecking for where your individual exercises are. Uh, so please take the time to do that when you submit your assignments each week. All assignments have to be submitted via the corresponding Blackboard assignment, which you can find in the weekly folders that I described a moment ago. Some exercises for the course you'll be able to type and do online in Microsoft Word or in Google Docs. Other exercises, however, things like truth tables and logic proofs, which are meaningless to you right now, you haven't done them yet, but those you'll have to do on paper. And those 
for the exercises you have to do on paper, what I want you to do, I want you to scan them or take a high quality photograph of each sheet of paper that you use for your, your homework assignments, combine them into a single Word document or Google Docs document or something like a PDF, something that I can access in a single file. That will keep things much more organized from my point of view and frankly from your point of view as well. Uh, it's also your responsibility to keep your homework assignments organized and make sure that I can access and open them. So make sure you submit files that I can actually open. If you're submitting a link, make sure it's a publicly accessible link that I can open from my end. If I can't open and access and, and read your homework assignments, I obviously can't give you credit for them. So that will be entirely up to you to make sure that you provide your, your um, homework materials to me in a way that I can access. Also, very importantly, the weekly homework assignments are due each Sunday at the end of each week at 11.59 p.m. So again, that's the very end of the weekend. So, um, you know, that gives you six days to do, to do all the reading, to watch the videos, and do all the exercises for the course. And again, I'll give you the opportunity to make up lost work and to get caught up or improve your scores. But again, most importantly, if you get behind, you're not going to be able to get caught up. So please keep up with the homework assignments. Submit them to me by the end of Sunday night each week. Okay, moving on. I'm going to hold some weekly office hours. I will post a link and a Zoom link and a schedule uh, for my office hours so we could meet by Zoom. And that's a really handy way for us to meet. So if you're having trouble with anything in the class or if you have any questions or confused about anything, I work from home uh, full time for my day job. And I, it's very easy for me to jump in a Zoom meeting and get you unstuck or at very least schedule a time for us to meet where we can share our screens or we can, we can look at homework, assignment, uh, homework exercises together. And I hope you find that um, helpful. Uh, please, please, please don't hesitate to reach out to me if you're confused or stuck on anything. Logic is really hard. It's like doing a math class. So if you, if you find that there are exercises you can't do, if you're confused about any of the concepts, if you're not sure how to get started on something, don't hesitate to get in touch with me. I'm more than happy to jump in a Zoom meeting or schedule a time for us to meet and try my absolute best to get you unstuck and get you moving forward in the course. Um, I will post my contact information in Blackboard. Uh, I'll probably post my, my phone number, my email address, and uh, other ways to get in touch with me. And I'll, I'll post the, uh, the date and schedule and the Zoom link for my office hours. Okay, so now the most important part of this welcome uh, video, how to be successful in this class. I can't say this enough that logic is really hard to learn. It's, it's incredibly cumulative. Week two will build on week one and week three will build on week two and week four will build on week three all the way through the entire class. If you get behind in week one or week two or halfway through the course, you find yourself not doing as well as you, you'd like to do, it's incredibly important that you get caught up on those assignments, that you uh, learn the concepts that you can do everything I'm asking you to do. Because if you can't, it will snowball faster than you realize and you will not be successful in the class. And I want you to be successful in the class. I'm here to help you be successful. I can't do the exercises for you though. So um, let's dive in and talk about this. One of the most helpful things you can do is spend quality time watching the video lectures that I'm going to post each week. I'm going to teach you the key concepts and all the processes it takes to do the exercises you'll be expected to do. I'll go through many, many different examples of each type of exercise so you can see them in action. Hopefully you can just emulate what I'm doing and learn how to do it the way I'm doing it. And if you can do that, you'll be successful in the class. But uh, you won't be able just to learn uh, how to do logic exercises purely from the book. It really takes watching someone do them talking through how to approach them in order to be able to complete the exercises just like you would do in a math class so please watch the video lectures each one will be about an hour long give or take uh, this is very very important please practice everything from the class um, Learning logic, frankly, is like learning to play the piano or learning to play any other instrument. You can't get good at it unless you practice everything you're expected to do. So practice, practice, practice. If you don't do that on your own, if you don't do the required exercises and don't get some extra practice in, again, it'll be very, very difficult for you to do well in the, in the course. You really can only learn logic by doing. It's not something you can just read about. It's more of a practice-based, activity-based discipline. And for an online course like this, frankly, you will have to be extremely self-motivated in order to be successful. In a face-to-face -face class, I would be with, there with you. I would be doing exercises on the board. I would be talking you through how to do them. I would be making sure you get practice there on the, on the whiteboard in the classroom, correcting your mistakes as you go. And I would drill you to the point where, you, you, I, where I'm confident that you understand how to do every activity. In an online course like this, 
uh, I'm not sitting right next to you to correct your mistakes. So you're going to have to be extremely self-motivated, both in terms of keeping up with the materials, doing the homework and the practice exercises, and most importantly, asking for help if you find yourself stuck on anything. Um, that takes self-motivation that I'll, I'll do my best to keep you motivated as the course goes on, but it ultimately will be up to you to stay motivated and to do the things you're expected to do for the class. So please practice, practice, practice absolutely don't fall behind. And I, I just can't say this enough. Absolutely do not fall behind. If you skip a week, if you find yourself behind, if you, if there are exercises you can't find, your, you, you find you're not able to do, you're not going to be able to be successful in the course. So even if you fall behind the tiniest little bit, it will snowball and it'll be very difficult to be successful. Uh, again, I'm here to help. So if you find you're confused, talk to another student, talk to me, set up a time for us to meet, ask me a question. Do what it takes to get unstuck, but most importantly, just get caught up. If you wait a couple of weeks to do that, it'll be just that much harder to get caught up. And, and I'm not optimistic you'd be able to, um, to overcome that and be successful in the class. Uh, and again, if anything in the video lectures is confusing or any of the weekly homework assignments, just contact me and we'll, uh, I'll do my best to get you unstuck, but just don't fall behind. This is very important in an online course like this. Uh, I wanna talk about academic integrity. Hopefully it goes without saying that you're expected to do all of your own work for the class. Uh, this is a fuzzy gray area. I really want you to feel free to meet up with each other, to, to uh, ask questions of each other, to point each other in the right direction. I think you learn a lot from studying with each other. But when it comes time to actually doing the homework exercises, I wanna make sure that you're doing all of the exercises yourself. To that end, in the first week of the course, I'm going to have you submit an academic agreement form inside, uh, inside Blackboard as an assignment, just indicating that you're, you'll be doing all of your own uh, work yourself. You know, for all of the exercises for the course, you'll be doing your own work, even if it's perfectly fine if you do work together uh, to, to get clarification, to get each other unstuck. But when it comes to actually doing all the activities, I want to see that you're doing those activities yourself. And it will become very, very clear to me if students are working together and are uh, and are not doing their own work um, in, in a way that's academically honest. So please just do your own work, but feel free to reach out to me, feel free to reach out to other students if you have any questions or if you need to get unstuck on anything. But the key is to get unstuck and then go back and dive in and blaze through the rest of the materials and the rest of the exercises and homework assignments yourself. Okay. Um, there's also, a, the college has a, an, an academic integrity policy posted on, online, so I've, I'll put a link to it in Blackboard. I'm definitely, this is all you know, intuitively obvious stuff, but uh, basically reiterating the things I've already said. Uh, it's perfectly okay to work together, but I want you to complete your own exercises and homework assignments yourself. Um, I will actually provide a means in Blackboard for you guys to share your contact information with each other. Um, you know, probably a Google Doc that you can add your contact information to that all the other students in the class can see if you want to share your contact information to make it easy for you guys to reach out to each other if you have any questions. Um, just, you know, it's a fuzzy gray area. Get help if you need it, but make sure you're doing your own work. And it will be clear to me if that's not, uh, not the case for any, any given student, um, more than you might think. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. At this point, you should move ahead to the week one folder under weekly content and assignments in Blackboard. There you'll find all the materials for week one and the assignment you'll be expected to submit at the end of week one. Uh, please contact me if you have any questions or concerns about anything in this video or anything in the week one video and definitely contact me if you get stuck doing any of the exercises for the course or if you need clarification on anything. I'm, I'm here to help and I'm incredibly easy to get a hold of. You can do this, logic is a little daunting. Uh, to be honest, it's like learning calculus. It's it's a um, it's a new way of thinking. It's a lot. It's very technical work, technical homework assignments, and it can be a little daunting. If you dive in, just do each assignment one after the other. Keep up with the concepts. Keep up with the exercises. You can do this and be successful, even if you know nothing about logic at this point. I don't expect you guys to know anything at all about logic at this point. So with that, I'll wish you guys good luck and a great semester, and I'll look to receive your first homework assignment on Sunday by midnight at the end of week one. So good luck. I'll see you in the week one video.